Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here. Welcome back to the savior of Skyrim with the mere many lives standing here at the edge of the world on this 31st of evening star, everybody. It just passed into midnight and it's the last day of the year. And if you're watching this around the time it drops, that fits pretty well. All right, Frost, you ready to go? Let's... Let's be careful now. Oh, that's... Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I can fix this. I can fix this. I know a trick or two. I've been around the bend. And then... There... We... Go! Perfect! So, welcome to the final episode of Savior of Skyrim of 2023. Or should I say the final episode of 201 of the Fourth Era. It's just a happy coincidence tonight as we are making our way to Deadman's Respite. Is that a dragon? I d Last episode was a lot. I was hoping we would have a calmer, more peaceful day today. And I'm hoping Eric can catch up after the events of last time. Are you for real? I'm I'm not going to... No. Screw you. I, I, got, I got a quest. I'm sorry. I got a quest. I got to spread the good cheer to Eric the Slayer. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Are, are you keeping well? Uh, it's been a lot, right? It's kind of... You were thrown into this mess. Uh, all right, we got ghost bards. Well, let's freaking go. We're looking for the verse of King Olaf One Eye. What do you want? Ooh, Ruby Dragon Claw, though. That's kind of nice. I'll take that. What's that? All right. It's tomb time. Did someone say tomb time? Okay, maybe this is a, a bad idea. Maybe it actually is time for us to pick up. Dawnbreaker once more. Equip the Torch of the Blooded. The Iron Helmet of Major Magicka. The Savior's Hides. And then get some uh, get some backup up in here, actually. Get Flamey. Mistfire, bless me. Now let's make our way through the undead tombs, looking for the verse of King Olaf One Eye so that we can sing it at solitude and, you know, bring in the new year in a in a great way. Big, big party celebration. We got some other business up in Solitude, too. We have a urgent letter in our pockets from Falk Firebeards. Speaking of Firebeards, that's what you're going to have by the time I'm done with you. And explode in three, two, one. Whoa! He wants us to come back and do some more Wolf Queen business. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. I believe we can also return to Sibyl and tell her that the vampire problem has been dealt with. I'm sure that will ease her... Ease her worries, that very trustworthy woman. But for now, me and Eric are just gonna kinda pal pal up a little bit. I'm gonna get to know what it's like having him around. I kind of down prioritized him a bit in the other one, but that's just because it was a it wasn't a very merry day. Far from it. But you, Eric, you're you're doing well with your katana right here. Alright. Let's go further into the bowels. Oh, hello, mister. Ow. That's fine. We're good. Don't step on that pressure plate, will ya? Bad, bad, bad business, that is. Grand soul gym, though. He did leave some goodies. I am appreciative of that much. Oh. Wait, is four... Did Was four not my... Oh, because I, I did one... My, my bow is on one. All right, fine. Miss Far Spooky ghosts, be gone! All right. Who's the actual threat here? Oh, there you are! That's right. Every path leads to the stealth archer. I'm hitting the body of your brother. It's not my intent. I wanted to hit you in the face. Wonderful. All right. Miss Fire, bless me. Eric has to catch up. Doesn't realize the speed at which I do this. The finesse and the grace. From uh, many years of experience now. Two years, everybody. Um, which had someone wondering how long this is going to take. And that's an interesting question. So completing the... Oh, hey. Champion of Cyrodiil challenge in Oblivion. Just a base game. Took 250 episodes. 
with some of the later episodes being more of a sort of compilation montage type episodes. With the Saber of Skyrim, we're also doing the DLC straight away, so we haven't really separated that in any in any clear way. So, I don't know, 300? 300 episodes? Just, I mean, that would mean that we are, at this point, after 100 episodes or so, a third of the way. Progress-wise, I guess, sort of, because even though it looks like, oh, our progress isn't that uh, far along, you got to keep in mind that things like reading all the books is something that I'm going to be doing in like one video and that's going to bump up our percentage by like a crazy amount. So yes, some of the objectives are obviously going to take time, but some I just haven't really focused on yet. And once I do, they're going to start flying. But if we do 50 episodes a year or 52 rather, then it checks out that 300 divided by 50 if we do quick maths, is six. So it might be looking at a six year stretch here. So it might be in year two out of six. But you know, th this guy is really strong. He is hulking. He is hulking out. I can't have this. All right, let's let's summon some uh, some health here. Eric's struggling a little bit. Miss Fire, bless me. He's scary. He is spooky. So that's just a, a wild speculation here. But hey, there's no rush. And there might be a time in my life where maybe I will, you know, set aside more time than to uh, just do one episode per week. But we will have to see. But I'm, I'm very happy with the response that the series is getting so far. I, I still find it incredible. Like today when I was preparing to, to do this, I thought to myself, like, uh, I don't know. I don't have a high opinion of myself and, and sort of doubt the works and the things I do. But... I always read comments on the latest episode before I do the newest one, and I swear, you guys are... It's its just such a kind, friendly place on a platform that can be the opposite, you know? I appreciate that a whole lot. It makes me... It makes me happy. Filter resist shock. It makes me happy to do a series where it's received well and I'm, I'm encouraged to continue. And everybody's just kind of on board for uh, for the ride. That's a good. That's a good feeling. It's an adventure we can all share in. Oh, hey there. No, please. Oh, str oh, strong spider. For some reason, these guys are stronger. Eric, go take care of them. There you go, my strong, strong, brave boy. I have been informed of a couple of things here. Um, one of which, uh, which is interesting, is that. Companions. I was complaining about Mule the other day when she was wearing something that wasn't, you know, optimal. But apparently the way they gauge what is optimal to equip is kind of whacking out all over the place. And not all enchantments on gear work on all companions. So, yeah, we're just going to have to keep an extra eye on them when we, when we give them stuff to see if they... Oh boy. Equip what we want them to equip. But Eric's a good boy. He would never go against me. Ooh, let's do something fun. Eric, come here. Come here, boy. Come over here. No, over here. Oh, very. there we go. Very good. A little over here now. Oh, you're so close now. Over here. Oh, he's avoiding it. Eric, listen. Oh, he's, he's off on his own wild. He's sensing something. Are you sure, Eric? You okay? Oh, oh, he's he's coming back down. Why won't you die? Who? What are we talking about? <sighs> he's a little confused. He's still getting used to this whole adventuring thing. Now then, it's the middle of the night, Eric. We we have a place to be tonight. Cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Fine. If you want something done right, do it yourself. All right. What's going on down here? I'm now trapped forever. Ah, there we go. <gasps> All right. Oh, hey there. Get out of here. I wanted to fall down with Falk. Not Falk? What am I saying? Not Falk. Hey, uh, Eric. 
Eric the Slayer. We will go see Fog Firebear too. I guess we just got him on my mind. Handsome man. I guess we have to spend more time in the Blue Palace. Which is kind of an awkward place. The last time, the Jarl just kind of walked off mid-conversation. But continued to shout at them from the distance. It's... Maybe that's just a culture there, okay? Maybe I shouldn't be the one to... Oh! Sorry, my bow is still on hotkey, mister! My bow is... Oh, there we go. Thank you for doing that little pirouette right there. That was a very timely, timely pirouette. Mr. Draugr, how about you don't? I got plenty of powerful iron arrows to pierce your body. Let's finish you off with something special. Like a dwarven arrow right there. Oh, hey, Eric. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves a sense fortress situation right here. Traps galore. Bring it up. This is the end for you. Whoa. Oh, I pulled it into the the thingy, Majig. That wasn't that wasn't the part of the plan. That's okay. You ready, Eric? Must be getting closer now. Check this out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Excellent. All safe. Oh, what is that? Is that a little soul gem? Is that a little? Look at this. Oh, I can't. There we go. All good. All right, th that worked out surprisingly well, actually. All right, let's keep following this ghost bard. This ghost bard of ours. Oh, there he is. All right, we're on the right track. The arcane enchanter. Uh, also going to be getting a lot of progress once we start properly disenchanting and the like. This seems sealed. Seems sealed. Sealed it seems. No, no, no. Not gonna do that. Eric, can you uh, step in? <laughs> Tag in. Alrighty. Let's get him. Draugr Deathlord. Dovahkin, Dovahkin. Oh. oh. What's going on with that strange arrow thing? All right, there we go. Just gonna get some archery experience right here. You know, long range, long range is the way to go. <laughs> Close to medium range, maybe. There we go, 45 archery. We're getting somewhere. I would like to get the uh, uh, eagle eye, is it? To slow down time a little bit and zoom in. Let's see, can I, or can I zoom in? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We will see in due time. Oh. Why won't you die? That's right, Eric. You're in it now. There's no more farm life for you. You better get used to it. You left all of that behind for... I would say greener pastures, but I don't think that's quite correct. We are actually... Oh, we got 500 steel arrows. We're fine. I was gonna say. Ah, yes, Eric. He's really, he's really getting his action lines in here. He's... <laughs> Better than me. Whenever I try to say something cool, he just ends up with, ah, like, yeah, you're going, you're going down like a sack of cabbage. And there's something else about why won't you die? Well, what I could do is that I could recycle some lines from Cyrodiil. I'm sure they don't know those up in Skyrim. So I could be like, ha ha, you move like a pregnant cow. And everybody would be like, oh, that's so refreshing. Little did they know. It's not a shred of originality in me. Ah, uh, he's trying to foos. Or she? She's trying to foos. Most of you have rotten away. It's kind of difficult to see things here. Driver Death Lord. It's been a real pleasure <laughs> filtering you with arrows at close range. I've gotten a couple of archery levels. And for that, I thank you. Don't you... Yeah, I don't much trust you, mister. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eric. Eric, I made him mad. Now let's not run too far ahead here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, no. Oh, we did it now. I fell for their trap. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's one here, too. All right. Enough of this stupid bow nonsense. It's time to break that dawn. 
Time to break that dog! There we go. Now you will feel pain! Wow. Rubber! Rubber! You too! Rubber! 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 Don't like you! Don't trust you! Lay down. And bleed to death. I know, Eric. He got us. Trapped us in here. This is plan all along. All right. I'm not, I'm not missing Mule. I'm, I'm doing okay with Eric, or so I tell myself. Look at that. He's even using Grim Sever. He's basically like Mule, just less talkative. I don't miss her. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. We'll hang out. We can always hang out with Mule again. We got plenty of action adventure to go on and plenty of companions that will cross our sides we go they're taken care of let's pull this aha uh -huh. now you're in for a treat all right gang up on him oh boy oh boy oh boy all right let's just do a little bit of archery you know get those experience points even though if it's not the most efficient. We're already maxed out one-handed as it is. Will you fall down and bleed to death? We will probably need to make it legendary because we got like 250 something levels to get. So it would be... It would behoove us to... Level some skills more than once for that to be at all possible. But for now, lock picking. I don't think I'm ever gonna legendary that skill. There we go, come on. Bring it. Bring it. There we go. Treasure. Mast, come on, an expert door? Oh! I don't know what that noise was, but I was so close! Ah, so close. Circlet of major alteration, ebony bow. I'll take this. Nice. All right, Eric, I knew we missed something in there. Get, get your butt down there. Do we go? Do we go down here? This kind of feels like main path. For sure. Let's have a, let's have a chat here. Oh, no, we, do, whoa, we found, whoa. Svaknir, eight golds. And King Olaf's verse. King Olaf's verse. O Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-stealing demon and dragon-killing king. Your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning capture of Numenix, a con for the ages. Uh, There's a lot of scratched out text. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threats. From Falkreath to Winterholt, they fell to their knees. But Solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. I don't know, I'm not saying in a beat here. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. What is this verse? Oh, well. Swaknir, huh? Well. Looks like we got what we came for, Eric. But there's still one more path. Probably an exit then. Over here. Yar. Oh, right. right it was just an empty... Thought there was, I thought there was something more here. But you know, oh, we do actually have a bit of a chamber we forgot to check out. Let's get to it, my dear Eric. So that was a little treasure chamber. Oh, hello, sorry, can't believe we almost forgot. I got to say hello to you. Are we clear? We're not clear yet. Let's see if it is clearable. If you are the one preventing me from my progress. And whoopow! Indeed. So lay down and bleed to death. Oh, 
Hello. We march on. Right, there was a sealed door. You gonna let me let me out of here now? Oh, dude. Right, we got the ruby dragon claw too. No. All right. We go and ghost boy. All right, let me solve this most ancient of puzzles. Hmm. Yes, the ruby dragon claw. I see. Wolf, eagle, wolf. Indeed. I must think on this one for a minute. Hmm. Uh, yes, let's see. Yes, that looks excellent. Push it in. And say hello. To nothing. More hallway, Eric. Disappointed. But it's gonna lead somewhere big and cool and misfire, bless me. I don't like that gate. I don't like the fog on the floor or the whole... Really, this whole place kind of screams boss battle, Eric. So how about you go first? Because I know how these things go. It just feels right somehow. <laughs> having this new life as an adventurer. Ah, yeah. It's what I was meant to do. Glad to hear it, buddy. Come on. What do you need? Come stand. What, why am I not in order mode? Let me try again. Need you to do something? What do you need? Whenever I pass by this gate, it stops. That's kind of weird. What do you need? All right, hold on. What do you need? Wait. Why does it stop immediately? Hold on. What do you need? Also, there's something outside my window which I don't like. I'm trying to. Hey, watch it. You leave me no choice. Broda, get in there. Let's go, King Olaf One Eye. It is time. Let us dance. Oh boy. Svaknir, Eric the Slayer, and I have come to join the party. All right. What do you want to do in here? I think it's it's a good old Dawnbreaker. Not a doubt in my mind we're going to be doing some Dawnbreakering in here. Yabba! All right. Yes. I'll... Was I not at full health? Was that the king? All right. All right. Eric, get your butt over here. We're trying again. All right, I'm going to try to sneak in. Let's see if I can get Eric in. It's that old shout thing. Sort of alerted the king. Come on, Psst, Eric. Come on, Psst. Yeah, there you go. I don't think I like where this is going. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, I, just trust me, trust me. Just step inside the portcullis. Yes, now it's too late for you. Misfire, bless me. Okay, let's get, let's get a more proper start here. All right, let's do it. It is time. It is time. When I die, I don't end up as a shambling corpse. Yeah, but if I do, I like a big hole like this. Time for Dawnbreaker to get back its position as the number one web. What D for Dawnbreaker? Where is? All right, I need to show everything. D for Dawnbreaker. Oh. Psh. Alright, I'm just gonna start whacking away. I probably should focus on the ones that are actually, you know, up and about being a threat to me, but we're gonna need some vegetable soup too, because I don't think we got that in us. And I need to mind the king, because obviously, Mistfire, bless me, things can go down real quick here. Let's see, is the king up? Or is he not up in this? It might be that my Fuzroda was a bad idea, that I somehow reached the king and he, he came early. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you get back here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've triggered everybody. <laughs> Misfire blessed me with Dawnbreaker. Gadoosh. This is actually kind of good, I think. I think it's a net positive. But they're all just kind of ganging up, right, running around here. Oh, they're kind of cute. I, I'll, I'll focus on some. I'll leave that Dragger Scourge be. Right, come on, you. Oh, you silly little goose. There's nowhere to go. I know you're scared. Oh, not so scared anymore. Yeah, wolves. Oh boy, bad, bad, bad right there. Mist fire, bless me. With that, 
Leaving them to fight a little bit up there. I can I can handle some. Oh, don't hit Flamey. Don't hit Flamey. We need Flamey. Flamey good. Flamey good. Friends good, Carl. Let's try to keep that in mind. We need friends in here. Hi, right, this Dragor White is down. That's a soldier right there. Is the king still sleeping? Maybe he's, maybe he's snoozing. He's hitting that snooze. He hears everybody and everything that's going on, but he just... Ah. Come on, just five more centuries. Wow. Oh. Get away from me, you dastardly fiend. Mr. bless me. Whenever I drop to like 70% health, I'm like, Oh, I'm in, the I'm in the death zone. Things can go real bad here. Oh boy. Don't like you. Don't like you or how you're treating me right now. I deserve better! Alright, at least it's just one. Misfire, bless me. Eric's doing a good job and fucking I guess. And let's get you to sit down once and for all. Okay. Oh, there's one down here. Mr. White. Come on. Come on, Mr. White. Oh boy. Where's Flamey? Flame at a distance. Yeah, fl flame is doing work. Just it's fine. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. I don't need a flame astronaut in my. Oh, that's a frost astronaut. That's great. That is wonderful. Okay, it's time. Oh, and I scattered everybody again. Misfire, bless me. I think it's a net pot. Oh, hulking Draugr. Oh, spooky. I don't want hulking Draugr. All right, frost astronaut bad. Let's, let's, let's deal with frost astronaut. Uh, we got we got shouts coming from up here. Oh, that looks like a uh, that looks like a weak one. I can do a weak one. Take care of that. It's the king. Oh, the king is up. The king is definitely up. Fighting Swakney over here. That's King Olaf One Eye. And there's a shout here. I'm just gonna take the shout. Maybe it will come in handy. Word of power. What? Freaking whirlwind sprints? It will come in handy. Fury. I'm gonna need a dragon kill. Then again, I'm wondering if how much I'm gonna use the other shouts of Whirlwind Sprint. I don't remember how good or worthwhile they are because part of the charm of using Whirlwind Sprint is its immediacy, right? So if I have to stand and be like, huh? Huh -huh! before I can get somewhere, that's not gonna be beneficial to me. But we'll see. We'll see. It might be fun to have that as an option if I wanna travel somewhere. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. All in due time. All in due time. For now, we got Flamey up here. I think Flamey just died. I think that's what the flame explosion was. And everybody's just kind of gathered up here. Everybody's gathered for a nice family time around New Year's. Oh boy, I just had to wake everybody up for one last, one last family gathering. And honestly, this is how family family gatherings be sometimes, am I right? Oh boy. Let's bring you down to the ground and then smack you in the face. Draw our blades. Oh no, oh no, we got Dare Helmet Man. My biggest and fiercest opponent. And whoop, oh, I am killing it tonight. Literally. There's a lot of dead 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 folks here. Alright, Restless Strauger. With that, Mistfire bless me. Let's face the king. Svaknir, where are you going? Come on. Stupid Wo Olaf one eye. I'll leave you King Olaf no eye after this. Oh! That went really fast. I'll gladly kill you myself. That's good, good spirit, Eric. This is why we asked the Mistfire to bless us. All right, so let's uh, let's fo let's focus on some of these boys here. Is that King? He do he do be coming. Oh no, that's a hulking hulking boy. You don't want the hulking boy. Svaknir, what are you doing? Oh boy, arise, Olaf! Vengeance is mine. Oh boy. All right, just do do your piece of the work here, Svaknir. Oopsh. Oopsh. Oh, we got shouts coming in. Get that hulking drug. Oh, no, 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 Mr. King. I leave, uh... Didn't you 
to, 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 to dish out your, your fights there. There we go. Eric's back up. I can deal with a hulking dragger boy. That seems like a good task for me, everybody. This should be the last one. There's like 20 draugers in here. All right. Also, I don't like how far away you are, Flaming. I like you up in the action. Doing. The misfires. Good work. Putting things on fire indiscriminately. Oh, as she would have wanted. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Thank you. Sometimes all you got to do is ask. You're reasonable, folks. Goodbye. And one more. There we go. King Olaf one eye. Now I will face your might. And see you. If you live up to the legends of old. Oh, so scary. You die. Yeah, showed him, Eric. King Olaf's treasury key and an ebony sword. Nice. Hey, good job, Svaknir. You oh. <laughs> well, of course, I'll let you play a song. I'm not even, not even mad. With that, that's Deadman's respite, of course. Coin purse. We got. The shouts, and I think that's that's pretty much it. I don't think these boys would really carry anything that I particularly care for, except for you know a couple of gold in their pockets here and there. But honestly, I'm above that. We are above that. But I did get that treasury key though, so let's have a look. Dwarven mace of depleting. Ebony Battle Axe, Potion of the Healer. All right. Whoa. So the Ebony Battle Axe has a better value to weight than the Dwarven Mace of Depleting? Wow, that's... That's kind of crazy. Usually you'd assume something that's enchanted to be uh, a lot better. And Potion of the Healer. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. It's that kind of day. Coin Purse, Potion of Healing. You did so well, Eric. I am proud of you. We're going out. Wonderful. Now then, that was a fun little romp through Dead Men's Respite. Nice and easy dungeon clear. Potion of healing. Ah, there, there's something nice about being inside confined corridors, because there's less of the whole mammoth and giant and dragon on top of a ghost. Everything in here Get seems to be about death. Yeah. Crypts, funeral shrouds. It's a bit depressing. But that's not how we're gonna end the year. It's oh, it's 10 a.m. We gotta get to town. We got we we gotta save New Year, okay? That's last time we, we were saving the holidays, now we're we're saving New Year, Eric. Oh boy. But first let's spend three hours killing this dragon, because I want myself a shout! Come on down! Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, oh. Something like that. This fire blessed me. Alright, we're gonna need Flamey up in here. Here we go. Flamey's in. And we're gonna need to take this blood dragon to town. Alright, Eric. It's time for Eric the Slayer to become Eric the Dragon Slayer. Oh, I know what you want to do. And I'm not, I'm not gonna stand for it. There we go, Frost. You fight that saber cat. Wouldn't be an episode without my horse fighting a saber cat. All right, what's next? He's down. He's down. Let's go get him. No, you don't. Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Bad. Oh, Miss Fire blessed me. My horsey, though. Don't like that. Miss Fire blessed me in the face of a dragon. Do I? I never learn, do I? All right. Frost, you got this. He's got a frost breath. Your name is Frost. That should at least give you partial frost resist, right? I think that's... Ooh, that would be cool if the way you name your child gives them a benefit in life. You know, similar to how you can be born under a certain birth sign in, at least in Cyrodo. And that changes, like, your destiny. But, like, the name you give infuses you with some kind of power. That's... that's... that's cool. 
All right. And I mean, many lives. That should give me a couple of, a couple of bonuses. I feel like I've, I've lived a couple of lives with Mimir. Woo, a little swoop by right there. He's coming around. There we go. Come on. He's gonna, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. I'm just gonna go over here. There we go. This far bless me. All right, Eric. You ready to take down a dragon? Return home and make your father proud. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here he comes. He's so cool. I, I might do kind of like this dragon. He comes down. We're having we're having a fun little back and forth. Oh, and the he's off. One day I'll be able to shout you back down to the ground, mister. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, you don't. I, oh, I guess he will. There's not much I can do to stop him. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Sure. Sure, I mean, you can... Oh, he's fighting an ice troll? Frost troll, I mean, what? <laughs> that's amazing. I was like, okay, that's a weird place for you to land. But of course, everything in Skyrim just wants to attack all at once. Oh, did you get him? Come on. Mr. Ice Troll. You, you, you got him. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. Hey there, mister. You want to help me kill this dragon? Yes. He's on my team now. Oh, he's coming around. Misfire, bless me. Yes. You and me, Frost Troll. Turning our differences aside. Learning to love. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, there you go. Just keep keep bashing his face. There. Yes. This is amazing. Uh-oh. Alright. Whenever I get slightly hurt, it's just like an uh-oh moment for me. Misfire, bless me. I've learned, okay? Okay, I don't like that tail. Don't like any part of the dragon, really. But we're gonna need vegetable soup now. Also, I do have a level up. I gotta remember that. Might be worth popping. We'll see. All right, there we go. Oh, where? How you? Oh, he's he's sliding. He's a sliding boy. Oh, I'm getting the soul. Oh, it's gonna taste so good. Give me the soul of the dragon. Yabba! No, oh, he's our friend. Eric. Oh, that's that's cute. Our friend. All right. And then I shall feast. On the dragon so Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. There we go. Dragon soul absorbed. Take some of these. I require your assistance with these things here, Eric. It just feels right somehow. Yeah. Problem? How can I help? Dude, he's badass. He's face the dragon. He's like, yeah, it just feels right somehow. Oh. I accidentally gave him the essence in the extractor. I kind of don't want him running away with it. Because it's unique. Yeah. Alright. Good. Lead on. I can move at the very least. Let's do a little bit of unlocking of Whirlwind Sprint. I could get a couple of the other ones here, but this is definitely my favorite. Whirlwind Fury. Okay. And as we can see, it doesn't significantly add to the recharge time. Unlike certain other shouts where you can see the bump from the middle shout to the third shout is more than a doubling in cooldown. So, all right. Watch this. Okay, what's the correct destination for me to go? We're going north. Okay. Check this out, Eric. What? Oh, cool. But he, wait, he doesn't speak the second word? Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's a silent word. Okay, but that's just a little bit of extra, extra, extra pow. If I have the luxury of charging it up, of course. But I think for the most part, it's going to be short and sweet bursts. But that was kind of cool. What? Just a little pow. bit of extra. Oh, there we go. There we go. There he said it. Oh, um, yep, 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 mud crabs. Oh, two of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I shall overcome the threat to the land. Yabba! Eric jumps straight down. Man, it reminds me of the Imperial City Guards. And I was doing some training in Cyrodiil. I would do like some hand-to-hand -hand combat on some mud crabs because they were kind of suitable targets for that kind of practice. And then I would also heal them after beating them up so that I could keep 
beating on them forever, which is kind of cruel if you think about it. But they're in the middle of a work session as I'm standing by by the river. Imperial Guard man jing, comes to the rescue and just rah, 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 calls himself a hero. And I stand there like, what in the name of everything that is holy and unholy is this? Hey, uh, so uh, what are we doing here? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Okay, we bad. Okay, okay. I was just wondering. Hey, we might not be bad. <laughs> Dude, this, this guy's just chill, though. Hey, buddy. <laughs> just so casual. Wolves, let's get this boy. Oh, there we go. Wolded so fast, I got disorientated. Disoriented? Disorientated? Discombobulated. Necromancer adept. You shall perish. As many have before you. It's bad business being a necromancer around me. Actually, I think it's pretty good business. I leave a lot of bodies. Which, uh, uh. That the best you, can do? you want to see the best I can do, huh? We'll get ready for the killing blow. Oh, I was hoping he would. Okay, hold on. Get ready for the killing blow. Ah, I wanted him to do the cool thing, you know. Conjurer's draft. Well, well, she's dead, so she doesn't know how lame I looked. Well, she knows, but she's not going to tell anyone. Dead men tell no cringe tales. Poison recipe. Damage health. Uh, we've already gotten this one, it seems. But it doesn't weigh anything, so it's worth taking. Robes of Minor Restoration. Scroll of Conjure Storm Adam. Let's see. Fort Snowhawk. It, it, I, I didn't mean to come here. I was just kind of stopping by. It was a happy accident. Or un Oh, he's back again. Nice. I undressed him and his buddy just brought him back. It's kind of messed up. Uh, I think let's just go. It's 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 New Year, okay? I don't have time. I'm sorry. I just got caught up in the the whole mess right there. We're going north. Oh, there's a little cabin over there. Oh no, we gotta. It's almost 1 p.m. on New Year's. Oh boy. Will we get to solitude in time? There it is. I see it in the distance. We need to bring smiles to their faces t -t 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 to make them believe that the New Year is gonna be a good one. For all of us involved. All right, what is this little cabin in the woods type dealio we got going on here? He'll catch up. What? Nah. Nah? Is that what he says? Well, nah. Miko's shack. Ah, <gasps> leak. Tomatoes. Ah, oh, what a place. A dance in fire, volume six. Good vo. Miko's Masters. Well, after all my years living in these woods, it looks like the rock joint will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine. All my friends are long dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion, and I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. But, but, but no, that's... That's awful, that's... Oh no. We'll take your book just in case though. Hello? Miko? Eric? Anybody? Well that's that's a sad that's a sad a sad tale. But there's there no, is there nothing nothing else in particular. I Eric, come back here. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna wait an hour. Alright, Eric's busy somewhere. So, we found the shack, right? But we haven't found Miko. I thought he would be by the shack, but it seems he can also be along the road. Oh! Who's a good boy? Miko! Hey! Hey! You okay? Oh! oh. I know, I know, boy. I know. <sighs> it's your shack, huh? Yeah. What's wrong, boy? Do you want to come with me? Come on. You can follow me if you want. Yes! 
Redemption! I can prove that I'm worthy of a beautiful canine boy! <gasps> Who's a good boy, Miko? Oh, you're gonna have a long and happy life with me. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. What a new year, okay? We're gonna be starting a new year off right. Let's get, let's get our butts over to Solitude now. There are a couple of things to do. One of them, which I think we're still postponing. Was that a dragon? I'm just hearing things now. Uh, Jari Ra, that shady Argonian who asked us to turn out the lights at the lighthouse. That whole shebang we'll have to wait with until we've done Atar's quests to go kill a bandit leader. I can't remember if we've done it, so let's just see if we can find Atar in town. Uh, I'm sure Miko will catch up. Miko's a good boy. It will be fine. Hello, Mr. Guard. We all good? Wait, I know you. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're not we're not completely good, but we're not bad either. So we're kind of like a middle of the road type situation guy we got going on right here. <sighs> it feels good to be back here. We've only been here once, right? We only had like one proper solitude visit where I think we did a lot in a lot in one session, so we we can't stroll in like this. This is the place where you gotta come in wearing your finest your finest party clothes, you know? Let's do touch the blooded thieves. I mean thieves, you never know when you might have to pick a lock or two. In the name of partying. Also, can we get those? There we go. Ah, per oh hold on. I can't I now cannot walk. So something tells me uh oh because it's a thieves skilled armor. But don't I have some boots of carrying more stuff? Yes, I got the leather boots of hauling. Excellent. They're kind of fashionable. They're kind of fashionable. I don't even recognize my mirror from behind without any hair. That's okay. That's okay. Well then. The gates. Eric, me. Nobody's here. They'll catch up the second I step inside. Just you watch. There you go. Oh, I thought that was a dragon. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. 3.30 p.m. All right. It's almost New Year, everybody. You only got half the day left. Uh, we're going to run on over to the Bard's College. Tell them we got the verse. And then tonight, we will celebrate. Maybe burn a king. <laughs> Let's make our way. That's Proud Spire Manor, Carl. That's not the right. It's one more, one more street down. Okay, there we go. Hello, Pantea. What do you need, my friend? Not much, not much, not much. Are there any musical instruments? I've yet to. There's probably is. Not that I have with me, I do believe. I don't have any crazy, fun little instruments. I guess you could play uh, Torig's Warhorn. Not quite right. Ildi. Oh. What year did the Aldmeri Dominion invade the Empire? Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? Um, Morrowind suffered a massive explosion? Youngest bard at the Bard's Party College, Bell's at Red your service. Erupts. Try to be precise, Yorn. Okay, here we Remember, I wish only the bard isn't just wow, there's time to do a lot of studying. Alright, hold on, hold on. Don't let hold them hear I said that, though. Of course not. Complacency is the bane of art. They're in good hands with you, Inga. Yes, Headmaster. Viarmo! Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? Just look at me when I'm talking to you. I found King Olaf's verse. I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. What does that mean? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. 
Oh no. Can we just make up missing parts of the verse? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy so, his style based on what you away. brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. At this point, I hardly ah, know your we can do this. What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our I'll subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king. Your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex the Khan for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye. He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Olaf was Numenex, a dragon in human form. I find that highly unlikely. But the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Olaf sacked it in dragon form. Oh, that is exciting! I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. Is that it? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Let's go. We don't have much time. It's almost 5 p.m. Yarmo, the new year is coming. Thank you, Inga. Thank you. All right, Yarmo, that's the door. You. I. And he was gone. Like an angel's kiss. All right, Yarmo, let's go. Oh, who's a good boy? Oh, I keep, I, I keep, I keep getting these, I keep getting myself these dogs. Well, did, where did Viarmo go? We'll say he'll catch up if I go first. Who's this? Inscar. Specific business. I'm not. When I was a young rascal, okay. I broke a man's arm with a single punch. One punch? I had a horseshoe in my glove. Yeah, that'll help. <gasps> Wait. I know. I was just about to shout my way inside. Nope. Until next time. Don't know me. I won't do no trouble. We are most... Oh! Wait, you're not, Stentor though. has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human. Even a Breton. A human, huh? I'll well, see about that. Sibyl! Are you here? Hey. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I cleared out the vampires from Pine Moon Cave. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Uh -huh. Living in the darkness like they do. Uh -huh. So uncivilized. I prefer finery, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Maybe you should. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. You, my friend, need to Keep your practice. hands to yourself. You, my friend, need to shut up. Fog firebeards. He's busy eating bread. Sorry to interrupt you during your bread eating, but... You sent me a message about Wolf Skull Cave? Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We even countered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him, to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. Who is Stir? He's Solitude's priest of Arkay. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. All right, I'll talk to him. We'll figure something out. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. That's it's right, the Wolf Queen awakened. You can help. Now then, we are still awaiting... Viarmo. Oh, is he here? There you are, Viarmo. I do hope the court likes the verse, 
I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Are we ready? Time's the wasting. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Oh, here we go. It's verse time. You versus them. Get it, Viermo? It's a pun. I like puns. Is my dog in the way? He usually is. Do your teleporting. Come on. Show me what you got, Viarmo. Do a little... Okay, that you did it too well. Where are you? Where did he... Oh, there he is. Everybody's gathered. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda. Recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold in dragon form and bent their minds to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be very generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in uh, recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Make sure that he is. The Imperials Unbelievable! You've done us a great Skyrim. service here. I can't there begin to thank you, you enough. Something's weird about Mimir right now. Because usually when I... This is not how it usually works, right? When I move... The camera's supposed to move, but I'm moving the whole body, and whenever I move Mimir, he does this weird shimmy. I don't think I've experienced that before. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, good performance. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon. Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Yes, sir! Let's go! What's the time? 7 p.m. on New Year's Day? Let's go. Or New Year's Eve, I mean. Let's go. Or is it the New Year's Day? Is that the day after? Or is that the day of New Year's Eve? Regardless, who are you? Have I talked to you before, Una? Yes. No, I don't think I have. Don't lie to me. All right. We're going, we're going. What? Nah! Nah! Why is it so delayed? That's so weird. Tag, What's up? Youngest bard at the bard did not ask. I, I guess I, I, I guess I did. I guess I kind of engaged him in conversation. Yorn! Who's Yorn in here? You're Yorn? You're Gerard Germain. Dean of History. AKA never... Ha I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't, I don't have it in me to be mean to you right now. I'm too busy looking for freaking, where is Yorn? 
Yorn's in the city? What am I doing here then? I need to go. We don't have time. Let's go. Oof. Oof. I mean, true. Can't deny. What? Oh no. The guards. Wait, where is he? Yorn's back at the college? Wait, I just, but he was just in town. <laughs> the sun is setting. I want it to happen tonight. Yorn, 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 Yorn. Wait, you're down. I was just literally here. <sighs> the festival's back on. I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. That's fine. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Oh, it's perfect. Speak to Yorn after dusk. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll do some other business around town then. And then I can return to him and can burn that effigy. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Because uh, there is something else I wanted to do here. I could go speak to Steer. That could be a thing. I just, I can't wait too long. You know? Let's see. Let's... Well, we, we, can, we, we, got, we got time. Speak to Steer. Hold the dead. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? A man comes walking in to the Hall of the Dead with Dawnbreaker and you expect trouble? Hey, you Steer. must be the one Falk spoke so highly of. Welcome. Falk sent me to talk to you about Potema. Ah, Potema. Former Potema. Queen of Solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. And now that Potema has returned? Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Wait, you want me to go do this alone? I can do that. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. Mm. I can provide you with some help with her minions. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. All right, all right, all right. What do I need to know about her? A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. I look forward to reading May some of the literature in Skyrim, getting around to characters like that. And I will. Eventually. <laughs> For now. What? That's embarrassing. <laughs> I stumbled as I was doing it, so I didn't get anywhere. But I think it's time, everybody. We've uh, definitely been, we've been playing for some time now. But evening is upon us. At Yorn, what are you doing? Festival's back on. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's perfect. It's like 10 p.m. Gonna see the fireworks, Eric. Poor Miko. Gonna get some earmuffs for that boy. Thanks for convincing Elisif to put this on again. Oh, you know, I am a selfless soul. What can I say? I, uh, I care only for what's Thanks for convincing the college. Elisif to put this on again. Hey, Pantea. Congratulations on getting the festival. Yeah, you know it. Welcome to Solitude. What do you mean, welcome to Solitude? You know me, Viarmo. You've done well by restoring our festival. I have. You called me an oaf earlier. Bet you regret that now, don't you? What's going on here? Why the big stare-off between Bent and Swari? You might as well have some sweets. What? I made them for the festival after Sweets! Oh, my God. Yours the best of mm. mine. You should hear him sing. I'm sure, but you haven't heard me sing, though, so, um... 
Let's see, I'm gonna feast. Excellent. Sweet. Hey, Sorex. Festival meat pie, specially made. Oh, uh, <laughs> meat pies. You're interested in me, aren't you? That's that's a weird leap, Mimir. Did you say free meat pies? I said a free meat pie. Yeah. As in one. Here's yours. I, thanks. I guess. Anyways, uh, come on, light the fire. Right. Uh, 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 it's fine. It passed. Oh, I was almost. On, light the fire. Everybody wants me to light the fire, huh? Light that king. Burn him alive. What do you say, Minette? Do we burn like him alive? What do you? I like the pretty lights. Indeed. Me too. Burn the king. Well, burn the king. People of solitude. Perfect. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. Here, here. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Mimir, many lives. Thank you very much. With the lighting of the effigy. Oh, let, let, let me handle this one. There we go. Miss oh, oh, oh. 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 Did you do that? <laughs> Magic. Please welcome our newest bard. Mimir, many lives, everybody. Finest bard around. Ah, uh, thank you. It is truly an honor thank to. You. Yeah. So, I'm a bard. Yes, congratulations. You're now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Wow. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. That seems unnecessary. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. The Gift of Gab. 1,800 gold. Quest complete. I believe this item is added by the unofficial patch, actually. What is the Gift of Gab? That's probably, like, jewelry, right? The Gift of Gab. Uh, the gift of Gab. What is the? Maybe this is the one time I'm actually going to use the use the search feature. Gift, huh? Oh, it's 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 a pa it's a passive, right? It's like a passive power. The gift of Gab. Speech skills increases fifty percent faster. What do you know? Hey, Rorlin. I believe Sanguine would be pleased with this festival. Ah, uh, so do I. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Ah, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm a miracle You've worker. Well by restoring our festival. What can I say? Oh, what do you think, Cades? I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Oh, Yo, you do that? Yo. I'm a miracle maker. Oh. <laughs> he's trying to, he sees me go, yo, and he's like, ah, yo. Ah, oh, what an evening it's been. As it gets to 11 p.m., it's just about to turn in for the new year. Where do we end it? Can I get up onto the roof of the college somehow? Oh, that would be so cool if I could. Um, Miss Fur bless me. Could, okay, so what if I... Okay, what if we go back here at Proud Sparks? We got some boxes here. I'm piecing it together. Oh, perfect. Check this out. We jump here. We jump here. We jump... Ah, uh, you... You absolute buffoon. We jump. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Okay, okay, okay. But we're going to need a bit of shouts. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's perfect. It is truly perfect. Uh, can I get higher? I suppose maybe I could. 45, 45 minutes left, which is like 45 seconds left. Mm. This is as high as it gets. Maybe we just end it down here with the rest of them. All right. Oh, I'm, oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh no. This I'm not meant to be here. Oh no. No 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 no. I'm running out of time. Let's just jump down here. Perfect. It's worth the shot. Well, everybody. Thank you all for coming out. The new year is about to dawn upon us. 
And I'm a mere many lives. I am a man you will see much of in the coming year. I have a very particular set of skills and a purpose and determination that, well, there's something to be said for my willpower, my tenacity, and my ability to never give up. As we stand here today and burn the false king, maybe we think about who else might be king, who else might be uh, good in a position of power, you know? I intend to prove to you that the only true way is the way of the Mistfire. Well, everybody, it's, it's getting to be that time. I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in this year for another 52 episodes of Saber of Scarim every single Saturday. I hope you're here for the long run. I hope 2024 is going to be a year that treats you well. Uh, I actually still, I actually have the gift on my desk still. Maybe, maybe we open the gift. Maybe, maybe it's time you actually see what's inside because it's, it's actually not a, an episode of Saver of Skyrim, if you believe it. It is. Oh, I, man, I did this one real good. Hold on, hold on. There we go. That's right. It's it's an empty it's an empty food container. Freaking happy new year everybody. Check it out. 11:58 p.m. Here we go. 5 4 3 2 1 Freaking happy new year everybody. That's first a morning star. Does it actually Oh, it counts as a new year. It actually does for E202. Level up. What better time to level up than on the 1st of January, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put some new uh, Christmas or, or some new New Year resolutions in place. It's gonna be wonderful, and that is I wish to do more that fun archery stuff. Let's get Eagle Eye on the way to that steady hand. Man. But I think that is a perfect place for us to leave off. I'm really happy with how this has turned out if I move the camera a bit. You can see Eric over there. We got Miko down there. Standing here in solitude on this fine New Year's Eve. Burning a false king. It's... It's been one heck of a ride this year. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all the kind comments you give and... It's just insane to me that people not only like watch this but just take time out of their day to do it. They watch it with their family. They watch it with friends. They they make it some sort of activity that they like schedule in time for. And time is the most precious and finite resource we have. So getting your time... I almost knocked my water bottle over. Getting your time, it means a lot. So thank you so much for giving it to me. I hope to continue Mimir's adventures for many years to come. There's plenty to do and... There's no need to rush and wrap it up as quickly as we can. Let's just take it at a pace that's leisurely and that fits us well. But I think it's about time Amir head off to bed. He's got big day tomorrow. Wolf Queen to stop. Lots of crazy adventures. So please tune in then for more. I'll see you in 2024. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.